okay so now our server is running on one side and our mobile client mobile calling client is running on other side so we are ready to test the coding that we have done so uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a connect a web client and we will make a call from web client to a mobile client and again we will make a call from mobile client to web client so let's uh, create two web clients okay and uh, there were I, I would like to uh, point out one thing here that uh, many of my viewers were uh, questioning that uh, why we are uh, doing a web client when we actually uh, need to do a mobile app so I would like to tell you that uh, uh, when we uh, coded the mobile client it took us just one hour to port the uh, code from web to mobile because ultimately the both codes are JavaScript and we just have to move the HTML code uh, sorry the main uh, the core JavaScript code to a react native format so it didn't took us a lot of time because we were not doing coding from scratch we were just moving a JavaScript code from one format to another format so it took us very less time so whatever work we, we did in the web client was worth it so uh, let's go ahead and make uh, calls from mobile to web clients and from web to mobile clients and see how our uh, code is working in action so one mobile client is there we will use one more sorry one web client is on is connected we will use one more web client and one more there will be three web clients So here we have one client, here we have two client and here we have the third client. So these clients are actually the users but technically they are the clients here which will make request to the server. Okay, so all our clients are there. So let's start the login process. One client joins the chat as user B user login as user B another one as user C logged in as user C another one uh, as user D logged in as user D now we will log in here as user A okay so when we logged in as user a all the users that were uh, the other users that were there in the room uh, we can see them user b user c and user d and now we can go ahead and make call to them so let's go ahead and make call we clicked on user b we are on a uh, calling view and we will make a call so here you can see user v got the prompt that user A is calling you okay let's cancel the call okay call got rejected call got rejected both the clients got informed that call got rejected let's go back and make call to some other user let's call user D okay okay user A is calling you so user D got the prompt that user A is calling him so okay let's cancel the call let's make a call to user A okay. 
so our mobile client is getting the uh, prompt that user d is calling him so that is correct so let's cancel it call got rejected by user a okay now uh, let's uh, go ahead and disconnect a client so this is user d and let's disconnect a client okay we disconnected so user d disappeared from the list so our list is dynamic if a client dis uh, disconnects they are automatically removed from the list now let's go ahead and connect user d again now let's name it give it some other name and connect it we'll name it as user e okay so you can see user e automatically appeared on the in the video call room so our web client the way our web client was working similarly or even uh, not similar but in a better way our mobile client is working and it took us very less time to port the code from web to mobile so our uh, now our mobile app is has complete calling feature and uh, the next thing that we need to do is integrate the video calling feature with the calling feature and we have already uh, uh, installed the video calling package so in the previous tutorial so we just have to integrate those two features and i think most of the work will be done there and then so you can see guys that uh, we are almost about to uh, achieve the video uh, achieve the thing that we were working on we are able to uh, do the video calling feature and the video calling app is very near to getting ready so thank you so much and uh, you can just go to our website and you can check the complete tutorial series and uh, some of the tutorials are for premium members and we will be glad and we will be very uh, you will be very helpful if you go for the premium membership and it will be very supportive for us and we will be able to continue our good work with the whatever you will provide us with your premium membership and in future we will keep, uh, continue the such type of apps and such type of apps that really makes a difference so thank you guys so much for watching this uh, demo video and please uh, subscribe to our newsletter and uh, if you want to check all the video series then go for the premium membership and support us thank you so much